Hey, fellas, we're back at it again with the last part of the Alpha Bracket of Junior's Jamboree, hosted by Under Pressure. We're gonna have Secret Sauce versus Platana Supremacy, and I'm still out here with Skep. How are you doing today, Skep? I'm so excited to be here. I just found out that Secret Sauce played in Ludi, so that takes my heart going from playing a draft tournament together to playing in Ludi Division 10. Uh, yeah, that just, that makes me smile, Vic. It's really great to see. Like, that's the thing about draft tournaments is sometimes you really do find friends that you find, hey, what if we kept playing together? Not every team that does that in a draft will do that. Sometimes people join draft tournaments when they're already in a group. They just, you know, want something different. But look at this. They've all got matching team tags. They're friends. Hey, welcome to the competitive community three months late. I, <laughs> that just, that just makes me so happy. Look at them go. Look at our scene. Go. Oh my gosh. The people here at Under Pressure doing the Laura's work, you know, making sure that uh, people are inspired, find people that they can play with. Because I know that's like such a thing for getting into competitive Splatoon is finding like who do, who can I play with and, you know, Under Pressure set them up. That's wonderful. I'm really, I'm really happy about that. Under Pressure set them up a year ago. That's they crazy! Had, they, played, they played together back in the chill season Under Pressure of 2022. That's a year. A year. I thought it, for, uh, for, forgive me for saying three months. Uh, no, it's okay. I'm sure they don't mind. Now they get to, now they get to be lauded for how long they've been together. It's so great to see a group just stick together. It's Wait. hard. They survived a loony season. Do you know how rare that is? <laughs> like, very. Oh man. Uh, and then we're we're very familiar with Splatana Supremacy on the other side. Uh, who jo we just saw win their previous match um, against Octonauts, coming right back in for grand finals. Uh, I'm excited to see more Dynamo Roller. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Fair enough. Splatana Supremacy, they've been really good at keeping that paint down. They provided really good pressure. The question is, does Secret Sauce have the Secret Sauce to get their dub? They've been in <laughs> Junior Draft before. They didn't win, but they were there, and they've came such a long way. Mm. On the other hand, Splatana Supremacy is all warmed up. They just had that crazy set on stream. They're hungry, and they want to get this dub. The group that wins this set is the winner of the entire tournament. Which is huge, right? You go from being uh, Secret Sauce, from playing together in the previous drafts tournaments, getting fifth, I believe, and then being like, hey, here we are in Grands, where we formed a year prior, possibly going to take this, uh, which is honestly huge. And then uh, Zesty back here on the bow. I didn't get a chance to mention it this last round, but Bo is just so good here because of how wide open this map is. And unlike Chargers and... and relatively easily spot links it can still hit behind those spinners from mid i love zesty on the bow here i'm really glad to see it back you know what you know how we talked about how this team's been around for a while one of them's got a machine one of them's got a machine on secret sauce i always stand yeah they've uh, been cooking with that for a while eh Spazana Supremacy, though, getting the first wipe out of the game. Ice Link having seven clams. They do have another power coming right on in. They do, uh, ooh, they don't form with Ice Link. Here they go. Now they do. Getting below 40 remaining in an opening minute is a devastating push. Yeah, that puts a lot of pressure on Secret Sauce to bring this back up. Secret Sauce also, I'm learning from the people, actually had the Secret Sauce of being the team that inspired a lot of people to start making team logos for Junior Draft. They were the first. They had the sauce. They're the people I need to hire for SOS, is what I'm Ooh. hearing. That's, that is what you're hearing. It sounds like whether they win or whether they lose, maybe they need a DM from Skeptics. It's all over. <laughs> maybe I'll be asking what the ingredients are, you know, to that secret sauce. Uh, they, they are struggling to get and break back into mid, though. Uh, we can see that uh, Nyx over there being forced back onto their own plat. Uh, somebody needs to get cooking in mid. Uh, get, get saucy, if you will, for them to break back in here because Zesty putting in the work. Zesty really is. Zesty does not have to move forward right now. All Zesty has to do is just hold them back a bit. 
But you see how Zesty sees the opportunity with their teammates and goes in. Oh, and they missed the clam. It's so sad. But you know what? They're brave. They just went in and they got it. They're like, ah, yeah, I still want that. I still want that. Can I have it? Clam number two. Clam number two. Oh, Zesty, possibly the number one clam carrier. I think by the long shot. Oh, oh no. and there go those clams. Yeah, there goes that push. Unless they're able to sustain it here, but the just a great secret sauce is back in control of their own plot. Uh, I am looking to see what they can do to break back in here, given that they do lose their machine player rather quickly. Honestly, you do have that Zuka on the side of Secret Sauce, and if they can use that in the future to take out the bow player, it'll really open up them an opportunity to really push a great set of shots there by Bowser. Can they escape without dying to the bow is the real question here. Oh, the torpedo's gonna get them. It didn't? What? I, I want whatever god RNG Bowser has. Uh, can, I, can I have that? No! And they die of all things just to the to a wave breaker. No! I'm crying. They were doing so much there. Shout out to Bowser. <laughs> wow. For real. The unkillable. Uh, Sultana Supremacy, though, back in control of mid. Two minutes left for Secret Sauce to get cooking. Uh, it does look like they are whatever they got in the pan, and they need to put more in real quick. I feel like they're slowly getting it though. They just have to be able, getting all the way down to 18, like with all this pressure on you is really hard. It is. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not gonna sit here behind my commentary desk and pretend it's easy. 18 remaining in a minute and a half, uh, when you and your team are, are struggling to figure out how you want to approach this, you can see that they're, they're playing a little scared, Vic. They're on their plot, uh, looking for opportunities. Um, so I, I wonder how much of this is mental that's keeping them up there. With the drinks app though, this is going to be their chance to really push up and cause problems. They have to get a couple of splats, because otherwise there's just too many purple clams out there. Mm. They're not yeah. going to have enough spawning in for them to make a really strong push, Ooh. you know? Here we go though. Uh, we They are in mid, they have dropped in. We see Swatana Supremacy getting jumps on their own plat. They lose Snap, their uh, machine player. Uh, but Secret Saw's still in control of their own clam. They're in really <laughs> good hands, actually, with that clam. They're doing a really good job at holding that, making sure to keep safe. A really good set of shots there by Captain. My concern is how you can see Captain and the player to their right, uh, Snap, are completely surrounded by Purple Lake. Oh, uh, the whale. Oh, yeah. no. Meaning that when a special, like, whale comes out, they don't have the room to maneuver, and, and unfortunately, that's what caught them out there. Sultana Supremacy also, once they got three down on Secret Sauce, they went immediately in to go and take a bunch of that paint, but this is the escape that actually, you know, that Secret Sauce kind of needs here. Captain needs to take a bunch of this paint so the rest of their team can push up with them. Do they have a power clam? No, but they can form one relatively easily. You have one player having six clams, one having seven, and we do see Bowser forming that clam, but there's only two players left up. Bowser's backing up, but unfortunately, it's now do or die. They have the Zuka out, but somebody needs to be on that plat. Panker rushes in. There's about 10 seconds remaining here, Vic. They get the cooler, but by the time Bowser tries to swing forward, Sultana Supremacy has set up their defense on the right side, completely denying Secret Sauce any entrance onto their plat. Uh, and wrapping that one up rather cleanly. Splatana Supremacy started out really good with those early game points. Trying to say, hey, listen, we, we just won on stream. We're getting another one. Yeah. Uh, they they want to take this and close it out here. They want grands. They they want their uh, their two sets to look at as they go through. And here we go. This is, this is what I was describing earlier with the... Uh, how much paint is on that right side. In the end, Bowser here is forced to back just because of the lack of paint. Uh, unfortunately, with this map and how big uh, of a ground you have to cover, once you're backed up on this left side, it can be really difficult to push back in because now Splatana Supremacy has the opportunity to set up cleanly on that right side and shut down anything behind mid spinner and, and towards where Secret Sauce is coming from. Bowser did a really good job at holding onto that clam and trying to wait for the opportunity. Even if that opportunity didn't happen, they had confidence that it would happen eventually. And that's a good thing to have. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, look! It's Mahi Mahi Zones! La 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 la! We're back here! Were we, were we here, re re like, beforehand? I swear we were. It was in, yeah. the, oh, it was in, the, uh, it was in the first set. That's what it is. Hmm. 
Now I'm trying to think about the team comps that we just saw. If nothing changes, I to, I'm so what I what I saw there. If nothing changes, um, so there are certain maps like Museum and Brinewater, uh, F Flounder, even where t getting from point A to point B as quickly as possible, regardless of how clean it is, matters a lot. With museum, you really want to be in as mid in mid as as little as possible. Conversely, here on Mahi, everything happens in mid. You don't want to overextend too much. So these two maps are going to play very differently, uh, and I wonder if that's going to uh, benefit Secret Sauce's very thorough playstyle. Could that be the Secret Sauce they need? <laughs> Oh yeah, if I'm Zesty, I don't know if I'm staying up there for very long, knowing the Zookas could be there. And oh, that's already one. That's our that's our first Reef Slider of the round. What a great Booyah Bomb from Secret Sauce there. Getting an amazing double, but sadly, too many players go down at the same time. No. And what we're going to see next, in my opinion, is going to determine how the rest of this map is going to play out. Mm -hmm. Is Secret Sauce going to have courage are they going to have gusto are they going to drop and take their fights or are they going to wait for opportunity on their plat and we got droppers ladies and gentlemen and my non-binary heroes they have dropped left they're in the zone they're still they've got in. the drinks that poor grief slider moment though they i think cap really wanted that kill with that reef and deserve that kill with that reef they have to cap if they don't actually mm. cap the zone here they're gonna be stuck in the same position that they just were. This hammer basically guaranteeing pain on the zone. Ice Link almost catching up. Oh, and that's the cap that they needed. So good there. Yeah. Uh, and and now that they have uh, Nyx on this left side with that laser uh, in the form of the heady edit, I'm I'm a little, I'm more confident about their chances here. Uh, here comes that stamp. Do we get a repeat? Yeah, <laughs> we get, we a, get a repeat with the throw. I think I saw that that guy showing up again, and they were like, "Um, actually, I'm gonna throw it this time just to make sure I actually mm -hmm. get my kill." But here we are, back at it again. Sure. Remember how you were just talking about how they have to be able to push forward? There's oh, there's the reef and the insta cap. But you see, the problem is that even though they're getting the zone, they don't have the area around the zone, and that's gonna cause problems for them. Hi. Don't care. <laughs> they yes. are dropping, and you know that what? That's so real. That they have not given up. They're dropping. They're committing with that reef slider. They're saying, "Let's push together." They're not trickling in one by one, or just twiddling their thumbs and throwing bobs. They're going for it. Oh, and, uh, that and that's wave breaker. Oh no! I don't think they intended on putting it there, but did the wave breaker work from up on that little tower? I don't think so. I. <sighs> That, that was the spiritual experience we just witnessed. Oh no! Oh, that poor oh. jump. It is a 2v3 right now here though. Secret Sauce is gonna have the opportunity to take zone here. They have to take the zone, and they have to take the sides. And you're not they wrong, they are doing good at working together here. They have squid advantage but they don't have the zone. They lose their Tetris in the process, but that's fine. It's fine to lose your Tetris. What? How did they what? get those picks? The stamp that truly believed Ice Link out here. No, but they didn't get the they didn't get the splat marker, so it wasn't Ice Link. Oh. Okay. It's we never get to know. They then. have the reef slider. <laughs> they have the reef slider. They come in. They get two. Uh, Secret Sauce does have one down, but oh, oh this, this is a good this chance to take the zone. They need this right here. Oh, there we go. See how this is different now? You see all the paint that they have on the right hand side here. Bowser taking the opportunity to push on in here. They don't want to mm. overextend. They really do want to get a shot. Yes, but what I want to see is I want to see them have paint on that left side of the map. Because mm -hmm. you can see all that blue on that side of the map means that with Splatana Supremacy, they drop in, that uh, Secret Sauce isn't going to have any room to back. But they might not need to back because they are just getting picks, letting Splatana Supremacy trickle on into them. Uh, ooh, look. Uh, oh, that's a hammer that can change everything. Side. Nyx needs that kill. Oh, good job by Nyx here. But they have to go back and get that zone. Oh, getting that cap is really good for them. Yeah, but it's not the end all be all. The members of Secret Sauce are still in mid. They get control of that zone. To three members down on the side of Splatana Supremacy. It's just that wiper. Nyx coming in huge Ooh. with that pick. Booyah Bomb a little early, but they hold it for just long enough. I think the tides are turning here, Vic. Yeah, I think the momentum is swinging really well in the way of Secret Sauce here. They still could lose it, but if they can hold it like this for just another, like, 
until basically about like 20 seconds or so, they can turn the game around. Three going down on the side here of Splatana Supremacy. It's just the end zap, and the end zap can't push in alone, and they will just trickle in and get splatted. I'm watching their icon so hardcore right now. They gotta just hold it for 10 more ticks. Oh, one Do they have it? There's the Zooka. Oh my gosh, just the, just the dueling slipped on the left side of the zone. They get the pick, they pull the lead. Vic, I called it. What an amazing comeback by Secret Sauce there. You're, uh, uh hello? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, Skepidillion's lore here for you. I tend to be a little bit psychic when it comes to this video game. And, um, the once I saw Secret Sauce dropping, I was like, they're gonna get it one of these times. Like, and, uh, and the, we had seen Sultana Supremacy never forced into a position where they had to re-engage well. This is true. They're very good at being aggressive. But they may have to just work a bit on their defense. It's something that they definitely can do now that they've had it happen to once. They can talk about it, figure out what they want to do, and hopefully next time, if this happens again to Splatana Supremacy, they'll be able to come back quicker and stronger than ever before. This is, uh, the, the, a team that is in control and can send somebody in one at a time, knowing that they have their back line to jump to and just constantly stagger their opponents and cripple their re-engagements, is what Splatana Supremacy is doing. A team like Secret Sauce, they're they're trying to coordinate, they're trying to have all their ducks in a row, and unfortunately, like you said, after that Clan Blitz Museum game, they're waiting for an opportunity. Splatana Supremacy is a type of team that is not going to let them have that opportunity. They're not going to let them build their momentum, get their specials, have everything neat and orderly. But Secret Sauce, once they decided, we dropping, boys. Like, then they were able to break in! That's huge! And, uh, uh, Splat, uh, Splat Zones Mahi does play very different than Splat Zones Museum, or than Clan Blitz Museum. But, in my opinion, Splatana Supremacy, their playstyle after that game one was better suited to Splat Zones Mahi. Given that, don't let them trickle in, don't let them have anything. Um, so I I'm very curious to see how Tower Control Hagglefish plays out. Uh, if I'm Splatana Supremacy at this point, I'm worried. If I'm Splatana Supremacy, I'm going for their base early on to try and hold yeah. them off so I can get that, that tower moving in as far as possible. Because that's something they're very good at. They're very good at holding the enemy team in. I... I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, it's a great set. Ooh, okay. This is... This is interesting. Secret Sauce bringing out that bubble. Uh, no, sorry, that's Splatana Supremacy with the bubble. Interesting. To to counter the double Zooka. I like that. I do. It's all gonna be about timing. Do they have the bubble when they need it most? This is an open map. Zooka mm -hmm. can go really far on here. You have the Zooka flying across these open... There's the first Zooka flying out in that open hallway towards the tower here. And look how quickly Secret Sauce takes control of that tower. They get one down, they're immediately throwing their bodies forward. Now we can see that they have Splatana Supremacy, all of them, coming out of their spawn. The Zuka goes down, doesn't get any picks, but we can see that Nyx is sitting on that tower for that first checkpoint, waiting for a clean opportunity to clear it. Ooh, Ooh what a pick. good shot there by Bowser. Bowser oh, needs that. Bowser? Can you do it? Can you get Zesty? There's two in that elbow? Vic, I... Take it away. Oh, I'm just watching this going on right now. That bubble in a really good spot. They were able to get that down before they got splatted just to keep the enemy team from being able to fire at them mm. as they drop on in here. It's going to be two down the side of Secret Sauce, so they might not continue to push from here on out, but they're trying to make it a two down on the other side, too, with all those Zookas. Oh, oh. and here they go. Snap going exactly for what they need to. They need to pick this heavy, so that way they can start setting up an offense in court. You can see Snap... They, they're really trying to get Zesty off of that hut, and that's exactly what they need to be doing. A little of that, uh, the sloshing machine nerf there. They had to back on out because they ran out of paint at one point. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Ooh! I always love seeing some good machine gameplay. Even if they don't have a fizzy bomb, they can still be a threat with the one, the only, the main weapon that still kills you. <laughs> Look at what we're seeing here. We're seeing Splatana Supremacy struggle on their retake. Now that Secret Sauce has gotten an edge, 
they have they have gotten towards a point where they can start uh pass a choke point or area of pressure area of denial um Spiltana supremacy on their back foot you can see how much they struggle with this yeah when you look at both of these comps oh there was one shot coming out there from that zuka always scary you have this problem where on Spiltana supremacy side you have a splatling on secret sauce side you have a splatling but mm. what they don't have is, oh, uh, well, I was going to talk about how useful the Tetras are because they outrange the team, but here comes Fultano Supremacy actually starting their push. And this is kind of scary because that Hydra, sorry, not Hydra, that Heavy kind of actually outranges everybody. Anything mm. that I talk about immediately blows up. Okay, I understand. It's whatever. I grab my tissues. <laughs> <laughs> and they're bringing in the jumps here. You can see the aggression coming out from Sultana Supremacy. They're a team that likes to jump in. They're a team that likes to feed to win. Uh, and they're getting the picks that they need to in order to break that first checkpoint. That first checkpoint is huge because now they're in a situation, right, where they're going to start uh, picking, getting picks out of Secret Sauce's spawn. And Ice Link here, by the way, is the reason that they got that first push with that devil on that flank from uh, flanking from that right side. Huge. That's a player, if I'm Secret Sauce, I don't want Ice Lined up for the rest of the game. Absolutely. Oh, barely avoiding the bomb there. You've got the Zookas coming out now on the side of Secret Sauce. They now have to get that lead again. Admittedly, what we've seen here, we saw that first game where Spiltana Supremacy, they got their early game, extremely good push, and then they didn't have to do anything. Second game, <laughs> second game, you saw them do that, but then they, had, then they lost it. This time, they're earning it back, and they're trying to keep it. What happens? Yeah. All right, this is this is curious. We got a minute left. We got one coming out of spawn from the side of Secret Sauce. Espeltana Supremacy does get to that second checkpoint. They and have there's that big bubble. bubbler. Ooh, that's gonna Which be a one? lot of points here. Penguin the Battle Junior. Let's go. <laughs> you live for it, right? I, I like love it. the Battle Junior. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, Ice Link. <laughs> Absolutely getting those picks that they need, and that's going to be the win that Splatana Supremacy really wanted. They needed that to get back in the game, to feel like they were moving in the right direction. That Fantastic was... play from both teams. Oof. I wonder... Oh man, I wonder how aware they are of what's going on. Not in like a condescending, like, I wonder how aware they are. But like, I wonder like if they know like, hey, once we're in, we're in. And like the, how snowball heavy they are within themselves on the side of Sultana Supremacy. And I wonder if Secret Sauce knows, hey, they're going to feed into us. Let them then go. I, I, I think whoever becomes aware of that first mm. wins. That is kind of what happened here. Secret Sauce ended up getting splatted a couple too many times right at the end there. They ran in, mm. that bubble was in the way, they lost their paint, they lost their specials, and they had they nothing really to work patience. with. Yeah. That's true. Because by, by rushing in there, they were playing into Splatana Supremacy's playset. Um, now, Manta Maria Rainmaker, yeah. you know how we're just talking about, you know, snowballing in a little too fast, <laughs> yeah. snowballing, having opportunities presented a little too soon. That's, that is Manta Maria Rainmaker. Now, I haven't played comp in a few years besides going mm. to lands and getting my obligatory usually making top cut and then getting eliminated style, <laughs> but Manta Maria Rainmaker is not a friend. Mantamura Rainmaker what? is a mode where oh you can you look away for two seconds. I love Mantamura Rainmaker. It's fun to push. It's horrible to get pushed against. And both these teams have had problems getting pushed into before. I I think Mantamura is the are you? I feel Vic. Don't take this the wrong way. Um, no, it's okay. I, you can. You can you can roast. It's fine. I I, I, I don't have awareness. Like, I don't have awareness. I know. I feel like Manta Maria is an awareness and objects permanent stress test. Oh it is, God. and I'm failing that test. I've been failing my, that test since 2017. My team Gravity always chaos here. Like every time, this is our best map. So I love this map because back it's in like, the Cataclysm days, it was one of our worst. You know, you know. I think that says a lot, Vic. <laughs> la 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 la! It's better now, but it wasn't back then! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh man. Listen, I was a college 
woman. It was I was playing at like 9 p.m. I was tired. Yeah, that's fair. I would I wouldn't be conscious at 9 p.m. either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Secret sauce with two specials online. Fantastic and game back. with that Zuka. Huge. And by the way, they switched back to the uh, Booyah machine uh, instead of the Zuka. Hmm, honestly, a really good choice here, given the hallways that are on here. Mm -hmm, Who's agree. gonna grab the rain for- Oh, never mind, never mind, I have to ask the question. It's- it's secret sauce. They're so gonna try and run right to that checkpoint. You want that checkpoint as early as possible on this map. Just that's so Correct. when you have the opportunity later, you can run and gun. I'm just gonna say, this double wave breaker from Splatana Supremacy is pretty cringe in a good way. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, if you're- <laughs> if you're Splatana Supremacy, you want this- you want this match over. You want this match yeah. over? You want to win? You want to win the set? Uh, what concerns me, I think the Devil Waybreaker is very quirky, very cute, very funny. Oh! oh. However, I'm concerned, I'm concerned about retakes on it. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. concerned about them crippling themselves with, uh, with is what already a weakness of theirs. The strength of their re-engagements, right? Uh, Wavebreaker doesn't really help with that. It does, it does make their lockouts better, and now we can see that Secret Sauce only has one member up, so now I'm nervous for Secret Sauce for the same exact reason. Uh, yeah, that's a ticket punched right there, getting that way, getting out of the way break, you're getting that Rainmaker out of the way. Like, yeah. it is gonna be all about patience, like you were talking about. If Splatana Supremacy gets a little too hungry to run this Rainmaker, they could get shot down, or they could just sneak right by the slushing machine and get almost a 30! Yeah, but they didn't drop it in the pit, and like that's mm. where the points really matter. Is once you drop that rainmaker into pit. So yeah, they got they got the rainmaker to thirty one. That's excellent. That there's three minutes left in this game, and all it takes is one little little quim blah, skip push, and uh, mm -hmm. that lead's gone in the blink of an eye. You gotta get that checkpoint first. Now, like when you talk about the comps and everything, about like Secret Sauce has the aggressive painting comp they need to get it there. Is it to find an opportunity to do so? Yeah, it's a it's a matter of uh, uh the going, oh, going this down hammer to... is so good in the hallway. Yeah, it, it's a very claustrophobic map. But now, now I'm worried. Now, I'm yeah. like, oh, okay. uh oh, uh, here comes the pit drop. But Zesty forced into a corner here, does not drop. Uh, it, it, it is fact just just chilling there. As a matter of fact, does finally go down to the heavy edit. Twenty six points remaining is really good. Uh, it's not a game closing push. The 12s, 13s, the low teens is when I start to raise an eyebrow. Uh, and it does get like, truly down off. in that pit. Then yeah. it's starting to feel pretty Jover. Pretty Jover. <laughs> but all I gotta do, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> all I gotta do is get one. Oh, you have Bowser going around the back here trying to get that double. Bowser can get a couple of picks here, or at least force people out of position. That Raymaker pop actually claiming what Bowser was chasing. Bowser now with the Zooka. Gotta bring the opportunity out. Needs to actually help out with that Rainmaker a bit because unfortunately they lost the Rainmaker while Bowser was actually mm. set up there. Oh, can they take this? Can they take this? It's gonna be so difficult to climb up there. Bowser trying oh, so hard for it. What a great, what a great grab. Oh man, great movement. But the, uh, there's no way Schnapp and Captain don't go down the pop here. Oh my god, they oh, live. Oh Captain? That's crazy. Captain? What? Oh my gosh, the duck and the weave, and now they have that reef slider ready to go. Oh. They drop it right oh, no. over their heads. That's gorgeous. Let's go. What an insane gameplay. I like the colon three face right there on that wall. Really represents how that team is probably feeling right now after that push. Secret sauce. Absolutely turning the tables with 50 seconds left on the clock. They saw an opportunity and they took it. They said, oh, I'm close to special. I'm going up right back at you. Like a boomerang. Absolutely phenomenal play from Captain there. <laughs> and we see one of the wave breakers coming out here trying to make Bowser stop doing that. They're asking, please, <laughs> please stop right now. Grab the fish. Being marked as a, as a shot is also very difficult. They have to fight off B-Bolt here and the other players that are also firing. I'm going down. Supremacy is probably going to have one push. Yeah, and uh, given that they only have two players left standing, that Booyah Bomb does come out. There's no doubt in my mind that Secret Sauce sees these jumps on the left side. The machine doing great work from top mid does drop, does get green, but comes they out. They have to grab right. it. They have to grab it. Oh, oh. okay, they did. I couldn't see it on the map. One <sighs> Crazy. That's a two to two.
This is I, a grudge match now. I both these teams want this win. Boy. Yeah. It's it's I'm so confused. <laughs> Cause like confused in a good way. Because, mm -hmm. like, like, we mentioned, like, this is a map that, like, benefits people who feed. Splatana Supremacy had that edge for the entire game. They kept feeding, they were kept running at them. I'm gonna be so real, Vic. There were there was a point in there, and I was like, I don't see how Secret Sauce turns this around. Uh, and then they had God's strongest reef slider. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that double on the reef hurts. It won them the game. It didn't just hurt, it won them the game. Ah. Uh. I even, I'm even with bored. everything people say about reef slider, when it works, it is not a grief slider. <laughs> it, a lot of the other time it is though, but uh, shh, don't worry about it too much. Shh, don't don't think about it too hard. <laughs> now, I, I, do we I trade back and forth? Spatana okay. supremacy, secret sauce, Spatana supremacy, secret sauce. Hmm? Well, let's 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 put our thinking caps on, Vic. Splatana Supremacy won Clan Bliss Museum. So mm -hmm. right off the bat, you're looking at who has mode advantage in theory. That would be Splatana Supremacy. You could you could really see on clams that Secret Sauce was waiting for their perfect push. They had a vision in their head that they were looking and going for. And in the end, because of that, they were never able to even break in. But Makomar and Clams Museum are very different maps because of all the flanks and all the changes in geometry. You don't just have the A B A that you do on Clambus Museum. That that type of that map format is non-existent here. You have all those little alleys, all those stacks that spe specifically benefit the bucket on the side of Secret Sauce. That machine. Uh, even though Splatana Supremacy does have the mode advantage, given they won Clams previously in the set. I... the map just plays so differently than Museum. I know, and it's so scrappy. We've seen how Mahi Mahi and Mahi both went. Those are the scrappy maps. And those went to Secret Sauce. So I, yeah. I can't tell. I'm excited. I know I've said that a couple no, times. No, be excited. Be excited. <laughs> Gra! Eagle emoji, eagle emoji, eagle emoji. Full <laughs> energy. Oh, here we go, Vic! Here we go! These are more or less- Oh, Zesty back at it again! On the bow! Very different map for a bow, though. Just because it's a clams map doesn't- Like, bow on this map, still good. Not as good as on Museum. Hmm, but they can really hold down that side stack. That's gonna be the thing. If they can keep the enemy team from getting on that stack, it's gonna help- Ice Link saying, I'm actually pushing first. I'm pushing now. I'm getting points. But just because they managed to get points, do they are they able to sustain it? Macomark is a map in theory that is extremely easy to sustain given how close all of those clam spawns are. Despite that, that's a wipeout on in favor of Secret Sauce. You don't want to wipe on Macomark. Ever. No, you just really don't. No, none of them went back to the pity clam though, but if they do, oh okay, a good bomb. Hangu actually saving that. Could have gotten really scary really fast there. I completely agree. And the fact that it's just Nyx left standing for the side of Secret Sauce, they do back. They don't jump. So Secret Sauce maintaining presence in mid and is, in essence, not wiping out. Oh, Ice Link has done this a couple times now. They go in with seven, with their Sultana, they cause a mess, they throw their clam in, and they leave. It's working so far. But hopefully there's no big wipe that happens this time. And here's the sustain that I was talking about, right? All mm. those clams. Yeah, it doesn't matter if Secret Sauce has a big glam. If their basket never closes, they're not going to be able to push. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Ice Link, are they going to get more in again? Are they just going to steal those clams and leave? They lived! Bomb does a lot of work there for Secret Sauce. A single bomb, but Ice Link not giving up on all of this forward presence. This is crazy! Ice Link! Yeah, and forcing Secret Sauce to continue trying to contest for their own stack. As long as Secret Sauce is trying to re-engage, trying to come in from that left side, they can't push. Dude, this is the Splatana Supremacy. <laughs> Are we witnessing it right here, right now? We just were! We just were! Going from, uh, hi, I'm the sub to hi, I'm the namesake of the team. Ice Link, for real! All right, and now we do have Nick setting up here for this push. I was about to say it, but right outside of frame, they put another clam in on, Sup on Splatana Supremacy. He's 
dang ass names and tripping up on them constantly. So it's a laid two down, but they were cooled on the side of the Splatanas. Secret Sauce grabbing their Pity Clam, working it forward. They really desperately need some paint in mid. That's two down for the Splatanas. Nyx trying to push up, but so much ship damage just flying right on at them. Look at this. They have they have four paint. Neither team has painted the side, mm. which is going to give me a stroke. But they <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, they can change that. If Secret Sauce takes a moment, just think about Oh, and there's the Reef Slider! No, Unfortunate. Grief Maddie, that's a, that is a grief slider. You're so <laughs> right about that. Two going down oh, the of supremacy simultaneously. Ooh, ooh. Did someone yeah. jump with that clam? Oh no, they're just standing there on the stack. I don't know if they're gonna. Oh, oh. Wait, it's surviving. It's no, here's the thing. They have two clams, right? And they're still in mm -hmm. control of mid. They still have squid advantage. Uh, oh, totally. Ooh, but things are changing very quickly as I say that. If they can uh, get both those clams in without dying, they'll be down to 50, which is a much yeah. better place to be. Can they, though, yeah. is the question. The Wave mm -hmm. Breaker actually saying, um, actually, no. This is uh, Pengu trying to fight for that right stack, trying to keep Secret Sauce out of mid. The Booyah Bomb does Ooh, good booyah. out. It doesn't get any picks, though, and they managed to get the pick on Bowser, who we recognize doing a lot of that aggro heavy lifting for mm. Secret Sauce. It's a big mental game when you have these clams on your person. The enemy team can see exactly where you are, which can hurt you, but it also can help to like give your position uh -oh. to them and make them move a certain way. But this is a push that's gonna be really scary. Iceland coming in here, that's gonna bring them down to 11. Do they have the clams? If they get those clams, it could be over right here. Yeah, and they, the, we see that VDS Pengu going back, getting a couple more clams. Oh, Zesty. Zesty coming in with the finisher. Misses the oh. Wait. Nope, it's still going in. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, Lord. <laughs> the setup uh, into the W. Huge. Even though you missed the basket, your teammates there to finish for you. Uh, our producer, Elemental, did say that they thought that the team that scrapped better which we did see throughout the set, the Splatana Supremacy takes it here. That's exactly what happened. Uh, in the end, Secret Sauce was never really able to get their feet on the ground in mid. Here we go, the, the final push, right? We see Pengu coming mm -hmm. in with the Power Clam, gets the dunk, uh, 11 clams remaining. Then we know that uh, they're gonna grab these clams over to the left, uh, dunk them here in order to sustain Zesty. Gonna relive this moment forever. Swimming in and missing the dunk. <laughs> but it's okay because their teammates knew. This is a 2v2 scenario here. Yep. And they knew one of those players was up top. If they could squeeze in and grab that, it was gonna be over. Yeah. And in the end, Ice Link, the Splatana Wiper player, comes in, grabs the Mercy Clam, and dunk. Love What a love fantastic the game. Yeah, they what had a great pushes game. and it worked out for them. Yeah. But the, honestly, that 2-3 score, that that tells you. Like, sometimes, like, an 0 oh and 3 and stuff like that, you can't tell what happened and how crazy a set was. But this was five crazy games. Hey, I had a good time with this set. This set was fun. Uh, it, was, it was very uh, thought-provoking. Uh, thought uh, there were, they were pop-offs. There were gasps this was this was a great end to the tournament Vic. i'm, I'm so glad Gosh. dude you've got ice link screaming also in the chat right now Do I really? like, <laughs> yeah After let's go Spartana gameplay oh man good job ice link you did great I, that that last game we can really see the you put in the work you put in the hours you know or how does it go i'm old <laughs> put in some amount of numbers. You know, you open your profile, you see those hours in Splatoon. Hopefully, most of them are being used to your personal improvement. Sometimes they are. Sometimes they aren't. Sometimes you're busy uh, getting, like, 3,000 shifts in Salmon Run. But I'm not talking from experience or anything like that. Obviously, I'm always thinking about comp. Yes. Yes. As you should be, Vic. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What a great... What a, what a wonderful set. Oh, and we do have the... Oh, my God! Ice Link! The numbers... Okay, uh, 17 2. This is a little nutty. We are seeing here uh, Ice Link dropping a 29 on Clam Blitz Museum. Uh, Elemental, can you can you show us the numbers? 
I'm Just looking at that. The other numbers. <laughs> Not to imply this should not in any way affect how oh, you guys man. think about secret sauce. Because remember what they just right. did in the game prior. Look at them. They can get those numbers too. It just was a back and forth. A back and forth. Yeah. What a I, wonderful I, set. I need to see Mako Mart. I slipped a C! <laughs> no! How are we supposed to know what your KA was? It had to have been at least 20. It was... that was crazy. We'll never get to know. Oh, we'll never know. Just stop hitting your desk when you pop off, gamers. You do that on land, you get a good oh. kill, and you can see no, no replays on land. Like, no, you're out. that can cost sets. I've seen yeah. it. Yeah. I've heard the stories. It sounds yeah. like you've seen the stories. I, I have <laughs> witnessed it, yeah. No! Don't do that. To do... Good stuff. That's why my Switch is like all the way in the back. I can't knock it over if it's that far away. 